Gretchen and welcome back to my channel. So before I actually get into what this video is today, I thought I would go ahead and address the fact that yes, once again, I have changed the backdrop of my videos. I don't know if I'm going to tweak it some. I'm looking in my little, that my little, the little pop out thing on my camera, words apparently are really hard right now, but I kind of like how it's looking. It's almost a little dark back there, even though I do have a light. So I'm not quite sure why it's coming up dark. Maybe it's just looking that way on the camera. But I do have some things from my previous backdrop, like I have the little signboard, as well as the moon, as well as the skull, and my like sub bell sign. I do have a few other things, like I have this little lantern with candle. I've got some fake greenery. I do have a sign up there, but you can't really see it. And if I moved it up some, then it would cut off my torso. So it's up there. It's the phases of the moon, but I wish I could get it, but I don't wanna like zoom it out too far, but I don't wanna get too far up. It, it's just a whole lot of stuff. Maybe I should have moved it down, but then my head's gonna block it. I don't know. I'm still tweaking it. Let me know your thoughts on it. I was gonna put up the previous backdrop, but I almost like it with just my white walls. Let me know your thoughts. But anyway, now that I've addressed that and it took way too long to do so, today's video are my May 2020 monthly favorites. I had quite a few favorites this month. I try not to do too many favorites for these videos, just the ones that I've been really loving. So I do have some makeup, I have some skincare, I have some lifestyle type things. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get into it. I am gonna start off with the makeup first, then go into skincare, then go into lifestyle. That's gonna be the trend for these videos. So the first thing that I've really been loving this month are NYX Butter Gloss. I have two of them in creme brulee and angel food cake, which just makes me really hungry. But I absolutely love these. I think I mentioned in my last monthly favorites video that I am not a gloss person. Again, usually I'm wearing a liquid lipstick like today, but for something that if I'm not feeling like I'm gonna put on a full face of makeup, I just want a little bit something on my lips, I have these little butter glosses. They feel so good, they don't feel sticky. I really wanna get more of them. I like these neutrals that I have. This one is kind of a peachy nude. This one is more of a mauve nude. I just like both of them. They glide on pretty well. I don't find myself reapplying them often. If I'm eating something, yes. And I'm also finding that because of what having to wear face masks. I do have to reapply any lipstick a little bit more frequently these days, but that's not the lipstick's fault. That's the fault of having to wear a face mask. So I really do love these. I found both of these at Target. Target's really revamped their makeup section. If you haven't been in Target recently or within the past year, I think they started to roll that out last year. I am so excited to see just the wide variety of makeup they have now. And I believe I got both of these from Target. One may have come from Ulta and the other one may have come from Target. Can't quite remember, but you can find them at Target or Ulta or any place NYX is sold. Another makeup item that I've really been loving this month is this bronzer from Milani. This is the Silky Matte Bronzing Powder. Obviously it is in the palest color because if I tried to go too dark, it would look like I rolled in mud. So we're not gonna do that. This is in the shade Sunlight. It's buttery smooth, goes on really nicely. It's what I've got on today. It's subtle, but noticeable. I love how it applies. This is probably one of the best bronzers I've found for contouring my nose. It just goes on smoothly, whereas other ones sometimes kind of cake up a little bit. This one does not. It's just a very buttery texture. Also Milani related. I have been loving their Make It Dewy Set-In Spray. I've been using this for the past year. With me, makeup kind of comes and goes. I find things that I like, stick with them for a little bit, and then kind of forget about them. This one I used all last summer because I do get very dry even in the summertime and so this one kind of revamps my makeup and makes it look less cracked less cakey and I kind of forgot about it for a little bit especially during the winter time which probably would have helped me a little bit better during the winter time but I forgot about it and so I picked up a new bottle and I've just been loving it it feels really good it hydrates it almost brightens your face up a little bit and 16 hour wear can't beat that. Both of these products from Milani, I got both from Walgreens. I think they are also available at Target. I don't remember. But I did get these both from Walgreens and I've just been loving the heck out of both. Moving along to skincare. One item that I have been really, really loving this month is Zo Skin or Zio Skin. I'm not quite sure how it's pronounced. Zio? Zo? I don't know. Zo Skin Health and it is the Intense Eye Cream. Now this is the travel size because I got this from a little event I went to where I get Botox and lip injections. I haven't gotten Botox in a while now and I really need to because my forehead is showing those signs. But 
went to a little party there. They were giving out little goodie bags and this was one of the items. I decided to finally use it and oh my God, I'm going to be so upset when I am out of this. Zoskin, Zoskin, whatever, is pretty expensive. I don't know, sometimes I can find a dupe for it that's a little bit cheaper, but this eye cream is by far the best that I have ever come across. The lines around my eyes have been drastically reduced. I put this on originally just at night, but now I'm putting it on in the morning and at night, and I'm just noticing a huge change. Yes, I'm a little, a little worried about forking out over $100 for the actual full size of this one, but it's a product that I have found to be a miracle worker, so I will. I'll just bite the bullet and do it. But I was really happy to come across this in the travel size so I could actually test it out before I go and fork out a lot of money. Also, please don't take anything like me personally saying, this skincare works for me. It may not work for you. So don't go out and buy it yourself immediately. That's the great thing about testers. If you can find one, that's the time to use it. See if it actually works for your skin. It may not and you don't wanna go out and waste a whole bunch of money just because someone on the internet told you it worked for them. Another skincare item that I've been loving is the special cleansing gel from Dermalogica. I love Dermalogica. I have loved them for several years now. They have truly helped with my adult acne. I didn't get the like acne clearing gel because I felt like this this one might help me a little bit better. This one is for if you do have sensitive skin, but also find yourself getting a lot of redness. This is a really good one because it does have like lavender in it, I believe. I don't know. I'm pretty sure I read that somewhere. Yes. It features common balm mint and lavender extracts to soothe the skin. So a lot of times when I take my makeup off in the evenings, my face is just like, what have you done to us throughout the day? And I'm like, I'm so sorry, but you looked so good. And now you're a little bit blotchy. This has been saving my life at night. I absolutely love this. It makes my face feel really good. It doesn't dry my skin out. But again, skincare is different for everyone. So please, just because I'm saying this, you know, a 30 year old that gets acne every so often, don't run out and get it yourself until you've talked with someone who is a specialist in the field. This is what I found works for me. I did consult someone way back when, like when I was 25 years old, and that's when I first discovered Dermalogica, and I've kind of been playing around with products since then. Just really love this this gel cleanser. So nice. Moving on to some hair care products. If you can't tell, my hair is orange, which is thanks to Arctic Fox Sunset Orange. I do need to re-dye it uh, probably within the next week or so. It's been two weeks since I've dyed it. It's a little bit more muted now than it was originally when I dyed it, which is fine. I still think it looks good, but I do need to re-dye it at some point. That is all thanks to Arctic Fox, which is my favorite. I have tried Manic Panic before. For some reason, it just doesn't like me, and I've, tr I've explained this to people before, that sometimes certain colors just will not hold in your hair. Sometimes you'll find that brands, some are better for your hair than others. I've used two different colors from Manic Panic. Neither one of them lasted very long. I've used a lot of colors from Arctic Fox. They seem to last a whole lot longer, but it all depends on your hair. So again, like the skincare, just because Arctic Fox Sunset Orange is lasting a pretty good while on me, you may find that orange or even Arctic Fox is not a good combination for your hair. Get the small bottles if you're trying to test. Those are always great. And then you can always pawn it off to someone else. You find that they don't work for you. But this is the color that is currently on my hair. I'm probably gonna go in at some point and take a little bit of poison, which is their red, put that in my roots, and then do the rest as sunset orange with a little bit of cosmic sunshine mixed in. Also, if you've never smelled Arctic Fox before, it smells heavenly, it smells like grape. Another hair care product that I have loved this month is the Not Your Mother's Beat the Heat Thermal Shield Spray. It's infused with sunflower and vitamins A and E. Basically what you do with this is before you go to straighten your hair or curl your hair, you spray this all over your hair and it protects your hair from all the heat that you're about to put on it. You don't do it before you blow dry your hair because you're supposed to use it on dry hair before using a flat or curling iron. You section your hair, so like for me, when I go to straighten my hair, I put some of it up, I get the bottom part first, spray that, straighten it, then let another section down, spray that, straighten it, and so on and so forth. And I have found that my hair seems to be a little bit happier these days because I do straighten my hair pretty much every day, even if I haven't just washed it. So using this on it helps protect it, protects your hair from scorching heat. Every time you pick up your flat or curling iron, guards hair against moisture loss and provides light hold for a quick finish. I think it looks pretty good. My hair is 
happy and healthy these days and I'm really glad I came across this. So this next item is a little random, but since being social distancing and in quarantine, I have been cooking a whole lot more and something that I use a lot is salt, which I know I probably shouldn't, but I do drink a lot of water, so it's okay. But I was tired of constantly going into my spice cabinet, pulling out the salt container, like putting some in my hand and maybe I had excess and so then I'd have to fling it away because I couldn't get it back into the little shaker itself. So I went on Amazon and found myself this little salt canister. It's a salt on it. It's, I think it's bamboo and it's magnetic. So you push it, you can take a pinch out of there. And then if you find that you took too much, you can pop it back in there. If you find that you need more, you can just pinch a little bit more and it just makes it super convenient if you're in the kitchen cooking and you need some salt. I also love that it's magnetic and it takes a little bit of force to get it open. And then the little magnet brings it back together. I absolutely love this. So if you are cooking a little bit more in the kitchen these days and you find yourself using some salt, really good canister, I recommend. This next item, I don't even know how to classify it. I guess I'll put it in the lifestyle category, but it is this little chain set that I got from Hot Topic because hi, I'm 30. So what this little chain set includes are three chains, as you can see. One is like a medium sized chain with a little lock on the end. Then you have a thicker chain Chain and you have a smaller chain. You can wear them all together. You can wear them separately. You can wear two and not one. It just looks really good, especially with like band shirts or something like that. I find myself often wearing the one with the lock and the smaller chain, or I wear the big chain by itself. That's usually how I do them. I just absolutely love how these look. These feel pretty good quality for Hot Topic. I'm pretty impressed. I do see some like tarnishing. It's not gonna be stellar quality, but for what I like to wear it with, it's good quality. So I just got this from the Hot Topic website. It's still there. It's a popular item. I've had a lot of questions about it in pictures on Instagram these days. And so I thought I would include this because I have been wearing this quite a bit. Absolutely love this little set and it wasn't expensive. And my final item that I'm featuring for this monthly favorites has also been featured in quite a few of my pictures on Instagram this month. And that is my witch's hat from Killstar. I absolutely love this hat. I love how it looks. It fits nice on my head. It's a little loose and that's what you want. You can wear it this way, you look like a cowboy then, or you can wear it this way, which is what I prefer. It's been featured in a lot of my pictures recently. I just love it. I will say it picks up cat hair. I mean, it is that kind of material that picks up anything. I just love how it looks. Now I've messed my hair up. So those are my favorites for the month of May. If you're interested in any of these items, I will hopefully be able to find links to them and I will put them in the description below. Let me know in the comments below what items you were enjoying for this month. We're kind of phasing out of the quarantine and the social distancing kind of not really don't anyone come at me for saying that but i have noticed that a few more states have entered phase one or even phase two of going back to normal we got to find enjoyment somewhere so let me know in the comments below what you have been enjoying during the month of may but that is it for this video if you enjoyed it please give it a big ol thumbs up go on down there and hit that subscribe button wherever it may be because i don't know even though i do this is just my shtick now. Also hit that notification bell in case you want to know when I upload and in case YouTube wants to let you know when I upload because I would really appreciate it. And until next time, bye guys. Mm -hmm.